Good morning, good people. Welcome back, Karibuni Sana. Thank you so much for being part of Ross Salwa here. We are about vulnerability, vulnerability acceptance, acceptance, and, and hope. hope. Thank you so much for coming back. If you've been part of this YouTube channel, we really, really appreciate you. If you're new here, kindly consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that anytime we upload new content, you are able to be part of this family. Thank you so much. So as you can see, we have a lot of distraction around here, but it is okay. My dear children are not a distraction. Sorry. Yeah. Children are part oh. and parcel of, uh, of life. So thank you. <clears throat> thank you so much. Yeah. So what we want to do today on this video, we basically want to pray. We want yes. to pray. Uh, the Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. Yes. And uh, uh, the, 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 the focus of our prayer is uh, from a realization that uh, uh, marriages are uh, under attack. Uh, many people are facing various challenges and we are strongly commi uh, convicted that uh, with the intervention of God in any kind of situation that anyone could be going through, they can actually come out of those challenges and thrive as a couple and move forward so we just want to pray for a number of issues that uh, we know that uh, people out here are facing and we want just to pray not for any specific individual but right if you are uh, you are in need of prayer you can inbox us uh, in the comment section and then we can be able to uh, reach out to you and be able to pray with you we know that marriage is an initiative of God and marriage um, is actually God's business and it is through family and marriage where God uh, continues to, pro to uh, create more children, create more people for the universe and accomplish a lot of things here on earth. So we are praying that the, uh, that the uh, several marriages that will be able to stand, including our own marriage. So what we will do then is, um, as the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, that um, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer. <laughs> the guy is having fun. Yes, Philippians 4, 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God which surpasses all human understanding will guard your heart and minds in Christ Jesus. So we can commend all our requests, all our desires, all the burdens that we have uh, experienced. We can commit it to the Lord in prayer and in return. God is able to give us peace. And when peace comes, you know that uh, there will be, uh, that means that there is a solution. There is an end to that conflict um, that we may be facing in our marriages. So we just want to pray together and then at some point we will uh, uh, conclude. So let's, let's just begin and pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you, Lord. We thank you for the gift of love. We thank you, Jehovah Father, for every person, the Lord. You have, Jehovah Father, enabled, O God, to connect to our voice, Jehovah Father, in the name of Jesus. We want to bless you because, O Jehovah Father, you are at work in each and every marriage. Even in the most difficult times and seasons, O Jehovah Father, Lord, we are reminded that you are the God of the mountain. You are also the God in the valley. Lord, we pray, O oh God, wherever our 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 listeners, O Father, God, and those who are watching us, O Father, Father, wherever, O oh Lord, whether they be the on the mountain of celebration God, in their marriage their mind, or in the valley, O oh God, of you, pain, Jehovah valley of, of fear, valley of uh, inadequacy, Jesus. Lord, we want to commend each marriage to you in the name of Jesus Christ, O Father. We want to pray the King of Glory. 
because of the Father who are burdened, the Father, because, oh Lord, of infidelity in their relationship. King of glory, we pray for a change of heart, the Father. To them, the Lord, are walking in disobedience to the Father from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Father, we seek your face, O Lord, on account of the Father of this couple, oh God, that is having financial challenges in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, may you draw their hearts to you. You who is the God of all silver and gold, you who supplies to the Father all our needs according to your riches. King of glory, I pray, my Father, Lord, may you come through for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, where there is conflict with the Father because of that practice of God, we want to pray, my Father, O Lord, may you bind them together, O God. May you help them, O Father, to become one, O Lord, in mind, one in truth, O God, one in faith, one in spirit, O Lord, one in purpose, O Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, O God. Our Father, we speak, O Father, your healing in that relationship in the name of Jesus Christ, where the enemy has stepped into that relationship and has sown seeds, O Father, of disagreement, seeds, O Father, of dissension, seeds, O Father, of disrespect. Game of glory, we want to root out, O Father, every negative seed of the enemy from that relationship in the name of Jesus Christ, O God. We want to pray, my Father, my God, the Lord, you're raising, O Father, marriages, O God. You're healing relationships, O Father. You're restoring love, O Father. Father, your rekindling of the Father, love of husbands of God towards their wives in the name of Jesus. Lord, your rekindling and love of the Father in wives of God towards their husbands in the name of Jesus Christ of God. Lord, I am praying for the Father where people have been hurt of the Father in relationships of God. King of glory, may you come through for them. King of glory, may you heal their hearts, oh Lord. King of glory, may you restore them, oh the Father. Lord, may you grant them the grace to forgive one another. May you grant them the grace to let go of the pains of the Father that they have experienced in the name of Jesus. I speak your healing over this marriage, O oh God. I speak your restoration over this relationship, O oh God, that is at the rocks in the name of Jesus. I pray, my Father, my God, may you raise them, O Father. May you restore hope, O Father, where there is hopelessness, O Father, in our relationship. In that marriage, King of Glory, I pray. May you restore them. May you restore them. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Lord, I pray for a couple, oh God, that have been trusting you for children, oh God. Lord, you say the fruit of the womb is a blessing from you. Abba, Father, I pray for somebody the Lord is hearing my voice and has been trusting you, Abba, Father, for years, oh God, for a child. King of Glory, as you remembered, Sarah, as you remembered, Hannah of all. As you remember Elizabeth and Zechariah in the New Testament, King of Glory, may you remember this couple, oh God. May you open the womb, oh God. May you plant your seed of the Father of fruitfulness, oh God. In that marriage, in the name of Jesus, Christ, oh God. Lord, we look to our Father. We look to our Father for the blessing of children. To this couple, oh God, that is trusting you. Lord, some of them, oh Father, are your servants. But tonight we want to pray for them, that King of Glory as they serve your people, that King of Glory as they serve your purposes of God, may you remember them of God, may you open up with our Father your, 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 your heavenly blessings of God, and flood them of God in the name of Jesus, our Father we bless you, Lord we look to your God, Lord we worship with our Father because you are the God who has promised of God, that we ask of you and you give us the nations as our inheritance, Lord there is a couple of them of God, who is struggling with our Father because of various issues, oh Lord. There is this couple of our Father that is going through a difficult time, oh God, because of rejection from our Father. The husband has been rejected by the in-laws. The wife has been rejected by the in-laws. King of glory, I am praying, my Father, my God. Lord, may you come through our Father. May you, with our Father, surround them. There are this couple that has engaged with our Father in battles, oh God. Lord, grant the victory, oh God. Lord, there is this cup of the Father whose property of the Father is at stake. King of glory, come through for them. Come through for them, King of glory. Defend them with our Father. Provide for them, oh God. Oh Lord, manifest
against your power in their situation, oh God. That is this couple, the Father, is dealing with sicknesses, oh God. Lord, we want to trust you, Lord, of Father, that there will be healing in this relationship. There will be healing, oh God, upon their bodies, oh God. There will be healing in their soul, oh God. There will be healing in their minds, oh Lord. There will be healing in their relationship, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Lord, we trust you, Lord, of Father. God, love is a gift from you, oh God. And the Father, Lord, you bring two people together, a man and a woman, or the Father to be husband and wife. Yes. Lord, it's a physical manifestation of the spiritual reality of our relationship with Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. Therefore, Lord, we pray, oh God. Mm. Because you came that we may have life and have it in abundance. Yes. We believe the Lord where you are there is abundant life. Yes. We believe where you are there is peace for your name is Jehovah Shalom. Yes. Lord we believe that where you are there is protection because you are Jehovah Jireh. Yes. Abba Father we pray for every couple oh God. Yes. We pray for every married person so our Father. Yes. The Lord may you come through for them oh God. Yes. You know their pain Lord. Yes. You know their challenges Oh God, yes. you know their struggles, oh God, oh, you know what they are trusting you for, yes. oh God. And the Father, I stand with them in faith, oh Lord, and I pray, my God and my Savior, would you open the windows of heaven, oh God, and meet them and minister to them, oh God, according to your riches and glory. May you attend to their needs, oh my Father, may you attend to their needs, my King, may you almost stretch your hand, oh the Father, blessing them and bless them. This couple in the name of Jesus, may you bless them, oh the Father. Is this couple, oh God, that is trusting you, the Father, for the fruit of the womb, King of Glory? I am praying for them. Open their womb, oh God. Open her womb, oh God. Open her womb, oh God. Open her womb, oh the Father. And oh God, grant the desire of their heart, oh Lord. Father, you bring us together, oh the Father's couples, oh Lord, so that we may bring up a godly offspring. Oh God, Lord, nothing is impossible with you. You did it, oh my Father, to save her at 70 years, at 75 years, oh God. Lord, you did it at, to Hannah, oh the Father of old. You did it to Elizabeth and Zechariah, oh God, who had been childless for a long time. And this evening, Father, I am praying you who never changes, oh God, what you did it in the days of old, you are still able to do it even now, oh God. Therefore, I pray the Lord, somebody listening to me oh God yes. somebody hearing this prayer oh God yes. even as they believe you Lord yes. I pray that such a time oh the Father next year they will hold a baby in their hands oh God I pray that such a time this year oh God they will remember this moment oh the Father when they heard this prayer oh God and they trusted you and your oh the Father and you provided for them oh God in the name of Jesus Christ oh Lord that there are many couples of our Father who are going through challenges in their relationship because of a cheating spouse, oh God. Lord, I pray for the spirit of restoration. Yes. Lord, that estranged spouse of our Father, we call him back to his senses, oh God, that he will be able to obey you, oh Father, and be committed to be faithful to you and yes. to their spouse in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we know that is very hurting, oh God, yes. to this sister, to this brother. Yes. But we want to pray that, Jehovah Father, your grace will be sufficient, oh God, for them. Yes. The Lord, the spirit of forgiveness, oh Jehovah Father, will be present in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Yes. Heavenly Father, I am praying for this couple, oh God, yes. that have financial difficulties, oh God. King of glory, you are the God of gold and silver. I pray the Lord out of your abundance, may you supply everything that they need in that family in the name of Jesus Christ. So we bless you, Lord, and we honor you. We exalt you because, Lord, you are a God who hears us and answers our prayer. So we believe that, Lord, you have done it for this couple that is trusting you for a child. For this couple that is trusting your God for financial breakthrough. For this couple that is uh, trusting your God for, to, for the grace to forgive one another. I believe that Lord tonight you are releasing the grace and action of our Father for them to forgive each other. In the name of Jesus Christ our God. So we bless you Lord and we honor you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. 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 amen.
that was a good time of prayer and trusting God for couples that have uh, been watching Noah with the servers and listening to us. Uh, we really appreciate and of course as we talk we know that it is actually God who keeps marriages by His grace. So it, we felt it was important for us to come and ask God to restore various couples even as he restores us and helps us to deal with our own marital challenges so that together we can stand together with one another. Thank you so much for being part of Doha with the Salwas. Uh, we really, really appreciate uh, this moment. If you are, um, you think that we should do this more often, kindly just on the comment section please let us know how we can pray with you so that together marriages will stand you know that when the enemy wants to hit when the enemy wants to destroy a country when the enemy wants to destroy the church they know a society or a community it's when they hit the family and most of the family is hit through marriage so we want to pray for marriages to stand so that families can stand and churches can stand, our communities will stand and our, our country will stand. And together the world will be fixed. We thank you so much for being part of Ross Salwa. We really appreciate you. For now here at Ross Salwa is bye-bye.